All right, so have you ever downloaded something from YouTube, used something like YT to MP3 to convert it to an MP3, tried to uh, pull it into your FL Studio session, and then when you pull it in, it just doesn't work? I'm about to show you how to make it work. All right, so let's jump into it, and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So I was looking for an acapella to uh, Steve Miller's Fly Like an Eagle because I'm going to make a little hip-hop beat out of it. Um, I went to YouTube. You know, I Googled it. I found it. Steve Miller, Fly Like an Eagle vocals. I'm not going to play those vocals because I do not want a copyright strike, but um, you get the idea. So what you do is you go to YouTube, and you go to something like YT to MP3. There's a lot of these conversion sites out there. Uh, put in the URL, it initializes. Do not do this update. It adds some, you know, like bloatware to your computer. So you just click this X over here and then you click download MP3. And the download should be starting. Oh, hold on. Download should be starting, but it's not. Oh, the site can't be reached. Well, I did this earlier and it worked. Um, it's one way. You may want to use another site. Obviously, this one's not working so well. But I did this earlier today, and uh, it ended up in my downloads folder. I'll show you real quick. And then I moved it from my downloads folder uh, to the file system in FL Studio so I could get it. So I keep that here. I keep it under, I put it under splice samples because most of the samples I use are from splice. But I'm going to call this, this song Slippin'. <laughs> and it's right here. I have the original... You know, fly like an eagle, and I also have the vocals. So I was just chopping up a sample. Um, let me go to FL Studio real quick, if I can find it here. Here we go. I was chopping it up, and then I was like, all right, let me bring in the vocals. So watch what happens when I pull this into the session. So I'm pulling it right there, see? And it's probably really hard to see, but it's like barely there. And when I try to drag it out, it doesn't do anything. It's not working. That happens sometimes. I don't know. It's an encoding thing. Um, so the way that you can get around this is you want to just open up VLC Media Player. And if you don't have that downloaded, all you have to do is go to Google, look up VLC Media Player. Oh, hold on. VLC Media Player. Here we go. VLC Media Player Download, download VLC Media Player, latest version. And that's all you have to do. Free for PC. If you're on a Mac, uh, this might not work because I don't know if VLC Player is uh, an available application on a Mac. But if you are a PC user, this will work for you. So you download that. You open up VLC Player. You go to Media. And you want to choose Convert Save right there. See that right there. So open up Media and drop down to Convert Save. There we go. Now we're going to add the file. So I know what file it's in. So just make sure you know what file it's in. Uh, mine is under Splice Samples, which I keep uh, quick access right here. Splice Samples. And I'm going to scroll down to the name of the song, which is Slippin'. That's where I keep my files for it. And I'm looking for the one that says vocals, this one. All right. Now, um, we don't need to use a subtitle, but we want to click down here for Convert Save. And this is what lets you choose what type of file you want to convert it to. Here we go. I just clicked on it. It brings up all the options. As you can see, <clears throat> there's some video options as well. I just want another audio MP3. So it's still going to be an MP3. But for some reason, it encodes it differently, and FL Studio will be able to, to use it. So there we go. Destination file. I'm just going to put it on my des desktop. Well, actually, I'm going to put it here. Uh, and I'm going to name it new um, fly like an eagle vocals. There we go. So it's going to end up in the same folder as those other two, and we'll be able to find it in FL Studio easily. So there we go. I'm just going to click Start. 
And down here at the bottom, you see the status bar moving. That means it is currently converting it. <clears throat> so we'll wait for that to get done. And now I'm going to open the FL Studio session again. Um, you can see it's already popped up. If you don't see it here in, in your file reader, um, just click up here, reread structure, this little uh, arrow that's kind of pointing to the left. Reread structure, in case you don't see it here. But mine automatically read it. New fly like an eagle. I'm just going to pull it in. And there you go. Now you can see the waveforms. Like I said, I'm not going to play it because I don't want to get a copyright strike. But that's how you do it. Uh, so I hope this tutorial has been helpful to you if you've run across this problem before. Um, and if you liked it, go ahead and like it, subscribe, tell your friends, and I'll see you in the next video.